All right, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Welcome to everyone who is joining. Hi there. Hey, thanks for saying hello. All right. I just dropped the agenda notes link in the Zoom chat if you don't have that handy. While everyone's joining, if you can make sure and add yourself to attendance today. I am on my laptop, so fumbling around just a second. Welcome to November. All right. While you are in here logging attendance, if you can be sure, add any items that you'd like to discuss to agenda notes or the open floor. And of course, any pull requests, uh, bug scrubs, or any um, conversations in the mailing list that need extra attention drop links to those and we will be sure to get those up. And while everyone's filling out agenda notes, if we have any new attendees today or anyone who has not introduced themselves before, I would love to invite you to say hello. We can invite, uh, welcome you and uh, anything that you care to add about yourself or what brings you to Kubevert. We'd love to hear about it. All right, we're approaching five after. And just 11 people so far. All right, looks like we are getting some items on the agenda. So thank you for that. All right. Uh, it looks like we can go ahead and kick things off with a small agenda. Please feel free to add stuff if it comes to your mind while we're talking. And I'll keep an eye on any new things that we need to circle back to. So with that, uh, Helen, do you want to speak to your open floor item? I can bring up an interesting topic if you want to. Um, we talked about that already. Uh, it's an ability to specify custom image names. Uh, let me copy list, uh, copy a link to this issue. So we didn't came up with the solution how it should be done. Uh, I think we can use um, 
we can specify images as environment variables for the um, virtual operator, or should it be specified in custom resource definition? Um, is that related so, to the item that's here on open floor or do we need to yeah, create an item for that? I'll okay. copy it there. Uh-huh, here. Sorry. So Andre, um, I think that at some point, it, is this related to what Itamar uh, is working on as well? Um, mm -hmm. There was it was taking a while for one of these PRs to converge, and I think he had started a new one. So we might be duplicating effort here. Yeah, super. Could you please link it? Oh, I see. It is. It is there. Like eight three zero nine uh, nine zero. Uh -huh. No, it is mine. Yeah, I see. 8673. Yeah, yeah. I somehow skipped that. I'll subscribe myself to it and maybe I'll give a review as well because we're also looking for this feature. But right now we are about to release our first phase of implementation um, virtualization model for our platform. Um, and I just have no time for finishing this. And okay. No that's... worries. Yeah, but he's just a couple of days out, hopefully, from getting his merge. So please do look, because if it doesn't meet your needs, that's going to be a mess. So. Okay, okay, cool. I'm glad that someone started this. All right. And also I wanted to ask uh, Miguel, are you here? Probably don't. I just saw some uh, work is started, uh, work in progress of uh, implementing uh, pluggable interface for uh, network devices into Kubebird. I just wanted to ask a few questions, but Maggie is not here, so next time. Sounds good, thank you. All right, moving into open floor, the first item, um hello everyone <clears throat> yes. i'm howard yes uh so uh, recently i do the e2e test on arm 64 server uh, i got many errors uh, it's caused by uh yeah the volatile gpu device is not supported by the qmu kvm binary on arm 64 and uh, this lead to the auto attach uh, graphic device not work on ARM64. Uh, and those devices uh, used to be supported on, uh, on ARM64. I don't know why it's removed. Interesting. Any first opinions? I Sorry, was not next to my mute button for a second yeah. there. Um, if this is a QMU level issue, um, uh, 
I don't doubt you, Howard. Um, <laughs> you, you're kind of the expert on arm here. We're going to have to get the uh, the Lidvert and QMU guys involved because um, we only consume that binary uh, as shipped by by that team. So this might likely be a, a bug. We have to relay over to them. Okay, yeah, that's cool. what I wanted to say. Maybe uh, okay. it might be uh, uh, good to write onto a virtualization mailing list. There, there were some lists lists related to virtualization. Yeah, I want to know who can I talk to, to, yeah. As you can see, I put the RPM link here. It comes from the CentOS 8 stream, base OS. Oh, Camo okay. has it on uh, GitLab server. I can send a link. I will put it into this document. Okay, I uh, I think QMU itself is support this device, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, and it's because when you compile the QMU gun K QMU KVM binary, you may uh, remove this device from the uh, how to say configuration. Uh, isn't it configuration option uh, for building the camo itself? Uh, if I understand well, the kubevert uses camo from the packages. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, and it's configuration for compiling. Compile this. Memory. Oh yeah, that's true. Yes. But it is. It isn't compiled in. Um, so it shouldn't be back for. Camo, because it has this option and it should be back for Red Hat or I don't know. Yes, uh, I'm not sure who can I um, contact with to solve this problem. Haven't we considered compiling Camo binary for Kubeweird? Uh, actually, this binary is not compiled by QBvert project. Yeah, uh, I just, I just was telling that uh, if there might be some issues like that, uh, it might be because if I remember well, um, the libvirt pack package is compiled by QBvert, or am I wrong? If somebody remember that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, sorry, don't listen to me. <laughs> um, well, I don't know, I would like to find where this package uh, is came from. I guess it is from Red Hat and then it should be reported, at least created issue why this decision was, why it was, why this decision was made like that, why it was decided to disable this option. I'll try to find where is this bug tracker. Okay, thank you. All right, and then that is covered up here. So with that done, you can go ahead and jump into PRs. Again, if there's a PR that you specifically want eyes on, drop it in the agenda.
All right, I'm not seeing anything that looks idle. In the last week. Let's take a look at mailing list. Starting the new release cadence. That's exciting. Um, that gets us back to through the last week. On the bug scrub. We just addressed that one. Is it just me or does the boot order one look like it's on this blank source? Or are they trying to boot from CD-ROM to, this is confusing. And and what is there? Direct IO check failed. I think it might be specific, uh, might be affected by the um, storage they use. For example, ZFS also does not support direct IO. Okay. We have a storage class listed that would be informative. Well, it's read write many. Uh, narrow sit down. And volume mode block. And I know what is this. Some block storage. But I guess not ZFS.
Nothing like cash, nothing. So I suppose we can recommend removing the cash none and setting to read write once on both data volumes just to reduce the complexity and retest. I don't know what to suggest here. I would like to know more about the storage they use. Yeah, let's find out about it. Okay. Okay, that should do that one. I think I caught everything. Um, this one is definitely not in my area of expertise. If anyone wants to volunteer on that one, I have no way to add anything. Is that related? It is. Looks like they opened a duplicate of their own issue. Okay.
All right. BNC authentication. Where is, I'd have to look at the spec for VNC to see if there was a way. So I know you can put a password on it in QMU. I'm gonna look for an answer to that one in a bit. And that brings us back to Mustic. All right, well, with that said, see if anything else was added last minute. I do not see anything. Going once, going twice. Unless there's anything else, I will go ahead and adjourn the meeting. Thank you for all for joining and your participation. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye.